My name's Biz Kite. I work here at the Met Office where I manage the weather radar network. I'm going to be talking to you today about weather radars, how they work and how we make use of the data. So why do we have weather radars? Well, radar stands for radio detection and ranging. In 1935, Robert Watson Watt painted the first radar system, which aimed to locate enemy ships and aircraft if and when war broke out. It was soon realised that these instruments were sensitive enough to measure precipitation and weather radars were born. Radars use an echo sounding technique. They use the same antenna to send out a pulse of electromagnetic energy and receive the return signal. A narrow beam of energy is sent out and travels at the speed of light until it hits the target. The more reflective a target is, the greater the returned echo. The distance between the target and the radar can be worked out from the time taken for the pulse to travel there and back. Water droplets in rain are really good targets because they're excellent at reflecting radar signals. The more intense your rainfall, the more water droplets are present and the stronger your return. Processing at each radar site, as well as here at the Met Office, works to convert the strength of these return signals into rain rates, which gives us the radar data in forecasts that we see every day. Different colours in radar data indicate the reflectivity of the rain. Reds indicate a strong return. Lots of water droplets are present, which indicates heavy rainfall. Blues signify a weaker return and much lighter rainfall. The Met Office Weather Radar Network consists of 15 radars located throughout England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. Each radar collects data out to 255 kilometres. Radars come in all shapes and sizes, but typically each site consists of a cabin, which houses a computer, a tower and a radome. Within each radome is a rotating dish, which is constantly turning, sending and receiving radar signals. A dish completes a series of scans at several elevations in approximately five minutes. Weather radars are our only means of detecting the presence of precipitation in real time. The data is used directly by our forecasters as well as being fed into some of our models. Not only does the data provide us with day-to-day -day forecasts, it's also crucial for flood forecasting. 